imagine being able to take every challenging conversation, every challenging situation, whether it's in the practice, whether it's at home, whether it's with practice members, whether it's with your team, and every time things seem to go wrong and you feel yourself tighten up, imagine being able to use those as opportunities for deepened connection and for more discovery. Well, that's what we're going to discover in this enlightening episode of The Quest in Chiropractor. We delve deep into the power of curiosity and its transformative potential in your life every day and in your practice. Now, our guest, Mark Possels, will elegantly discuss how certainty, one of the things so many chiropractors are looking for, can actually be the one thing limiting your growth and development. Mark emphasizes the importance of viewing life as a process of becoming and limiting the role of labels and in shaping our perceptions. We explore very practical ways you can shift the restricting conversations in your practice from pain-based ones to ones that are more likely to help people to see chiropractic as a lifetime practice. Now, Mark has been described as a godfather figure in chiropractic internationally. He's helped found national organizations, technique organizations. He's been on the board of associations and colleges. Through all of this, he has run a very busy associate-driven practice on the Sunshine Coast in Australia and run Quest Chiropractic Coaching. Now, if you haven't heard of Mark Postles, I bet that many of the leaders in the profession that you look up to will consider him as a thought leader that they looked up to. This episode is a treasure trove of wisdom that promises to change the way you perceive the world. Don't miss out on this enlightening conversation. Stick around for some mind-expanding, practice-growing gold. Welcome to the Questing Chiropractor Podcast. We help you grow as visionary, vital, and capable chiropractors who are always on. We do things differently as we help to elegantly awaken your innate wisdom within. We help you create robust, predictable, and trustworthy practices that serve oceans of people and yet still have free time for yourselves and your families. We use neuroscience to deliver better business results so that you can get greater, deeper, and more effective impact in more ways. We are Questing Chiropractors, and this is our story. Welcome to the Questing Chiropractor. I am Greg Venning. I'm your guide on this journey. And we're going to start, this is episode one, and it's such a great place to start, is to start with a question, why Quest? I mean, this podcast is called the questing chiropractor. So why quest? What is in a quest? What's it about? And why is it important to you as a chiropractor to potentially see yourself as a questing chiropractor on a quest? And so to do that, we've got Mark Postles, the man who has formulated all of this over, over many decades, really, and, and been a, a massive creator in it. And I know he'll say he was a co-creator with, with many other people along the way. But Mark, uh, we've introduced you, people know a little bit more about you. I want to start with the simple question of, of why Quest? What is it about this that makes it special to, to us? Well, if we look at the um, definition of Quest, you know, it's, it's, it's something around or commonly um, phrased as like a long search. You know, it's, it's not a short-term thing. And it's for something or someone or some phenomena that's difficult. It's, it's difficult to find, it may be difficult to achieve. It's, it's, it's worthy of, um, investment. And so, you know, to, to look at a, a quest as being a journey, um, that we join in and are part of, and it's a never ending journey. Um, it's mm -hmm. a journey of enlightenment. It's a journey of discovery. It's a journey of, of accessing the powers that we maybe never knew we had. Um, so I, I felt it was, you know, synonymous with my entry into chiropractic that, uh, I had one of those BFOs of blinding flash the obvious of like, uh, having beers with a couple of guys who were students at chiropractic college. And they told me about chiropractic just that one night. I'd never heard of it, heard of it before. And I was in Vancouver, Canada at the time, uh, originally from New Zealand. And I said, Oh my God, that is my name all over it. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it just sounds right. It just makes sense. Um, it's a vision that is, uh, bigger than me, bigger than anything I can imagine. And so I began pursuing it. So, you know, that, that actually led me to about 18 months of traveling the world to get the money to get up to chiropractic college and start. So, um, it, that was a mission itself. It was a, it was a, um, driven by curiosity. 
I, I couldn't find out what this is about. What makes people tick? Um, and and so it brought so many things together on that very, very short little interview that I had with those, those two guys, um, that, uh, fuel this, this fire to, um, find out more, to discover myself and, uh, myself relative to, um, a phenomena that was called chiropractic. So, um, yeah, and that, that's really what allowed me to, you know, work illegally in the States to, you know, get through college, play, yeah, play, to do all the things you do as a diploma student, um, to, to graduate and, and, uh, uh, you know, it was always based on if this can make a difference to one person, that has been worthwhile. And, and, you know, obviously that was fulfilled in the, you know, probably the first time of it and volume money in college, but it was, yeah. So, so I think that, you know, it was, a, it was, um, something that's fuzzy out into the future, um, that we know in our heart of hearts that it's a, it is something that's right. So, so the essence of quest then, um, came across my bowels a number of times. Um, and credit to, uh, Joe Felicia and then, um, uh, subsequently Joe, um, Guy Reekman, who, mm. uh, had what, what was called the Quest Alliance in the day. Um, and, uh, you know, he said, well, why don't you take it up in, in Australia, New Zealand, Australia, Australia mize it so that it's, uh, um, it's more palatable maybe than the, than the American version and, um, you know, run with it. So. That was in terms of the name, that was it, but it was, it was a name that I felt, you know, it was drawn towards me, which I really resonated with. So that's the essence of it. And really that's the type of approach we take and see that everyone has every part that they need, you know, every, every, there's nothing missing. And when we come from that position as a, uh, as an individual, as a, as a chiropractor, um, we, we know that. You know, there's, there's nothing to add and there's nothing to take away is simply allowing that person to express with uh, less impediments in their system, um, that then allows them to, uh, go on their quest more effectively and more efficiently and, you know, with better results. So, so that's sort of that, the, the genesis of it, it was you know, a personal epiphany, uh, that led to, um, a process of, uh, gaining the knowledge or, and, uh, getting the skills and then, uh, expanding on that as I, as I develop practices and, and so forth. Um, and, and then looking at how that can be passed on. So, you know, we, we play in sandboxes and I think, you know, initially the little sandbox in our own backyard is big enough for us, and our little friend. And then, you know, we exceed that and the sand goes everywhere. And so we get a bigger sandbox and, and the sandbox is our neighborhood and then it's our, our country and then it's the world, right? I, you know, I tend to. Uh, have always been driven by the fact that, uh, the curiosity that's inherent within a quest is, um, always leading us to something bigger. It's, it's a yeah. future oriented and it's like, let's just explore this, uh, and find out how it ticks. And, uh, inevitably when we find out how something ticks, then that opens up a whole bunch of, uh, new phenomena that come to the surface that weren't evident at the previous state. So as we evolve, um, in our life, as we, as we ascend and our, um, awarenesses, we're opening up better questions, um, uh, better, uh, um, means of dealing with those questions. And, and as we, you know, open those questions up then there's bigger questions behind it. So I, I think that that's the beautiful part of it. And, in, and that's inherent within the word quest yeah, is question, you know, so it's, it is about questioning and uh, along with this is, this is the journey. So. Yeah. And, uh, in a couple of words. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that, that, that just brings up so much. And it's one of the reasons why I just love the concept of, of quest and why we wanted to bring this podcast to the world as quest and chiropractor. And, and there's, th there's a couple of different levels to play with as I, as I see it on this. And the one level, like you've spoken about today is, is it's a philosophy on, on life, really that our life is a journey, a journey of development, a journey of discovery, a journey of challenge, a journey of, of being intensely curious to find our way through this journey. And curiosity is kind of the superpower that, that powers it. And if you look at that as the philosophical level, then there's also like a metaphorical level of the, the quest of us within this profession of chiropractic as chiropractors, like what is our journey? And you brought up this concept of, of the journey and we can think of the hero's journey. We can think of so many different versions of of how we journey, how we go through things, how we grow, how we develop, um, and how we face challenges and, and reap successes in cycles along the way. 
And then there's the metaphor even below that, if we chunk things down, to the, the quest that each person is on under our care and how on each of those levels, it's almost like the fractal geometry, each of those three is mirror images and patterns of the other. And the more that we're engaged in our higher level journey, the more we can help to engage the person at their journey. And I'm not going to say a lower level journey, it's just in the, in the orders of chunking down, it becomes their level of journey. Um, t- tell us more about curiosity uh, and how, how curiosity is this tool and particularly how it is a tool that we can use in everyday practice as well as on this philosophical level in our, in our life and our personal development. It's a, it's a great question, and, and it's really worth um, <clears throat> looking at this in the context of um, maybe what's the antithesis of curiosity? And you know, I, I would posit that it, that it is certainty. So when we're certain, um, there's no room for curiosity. There's no room for vagueness, for uh, uh, discovery. It's, it's like we are certain. I am certain. I am, you know, this is the way. And <clears throat> that. You know, whilst it's useful in certain contexts, um, when it comes to expansion and development and philosophical constructs, it's not very useful. It becomes dogma if it's a you know, certainty is a, a stuck state. Um, so, so if we look at look at it from, from that position, that we as chiropractors, um, if we live in that land of of possibility, if we live in the land of hope um, for our people uh, and for ourselves. You know, and ourselves always come first. In fact, I, you know, I think people just come into our office and pay us um, money so that we can uh, enjoy personal growth. You know? So really, you know, um, it's, it's not about the people. Um, it's about ourselves. I, I know there's going to be people who say, oh, no, it's all about suffering. <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna, to you know, look after people. Yes, we do. And if we don't look after ourselves, we're not, if we're not willing to... Uh, uh, allow ourselves the dignity to ask questions to ourselves, um, then the the rest of the game becomes rather hollow. So we usually find other other ways to um, sort of some sort of meaning, but it's external. And I, I I would say that you know the um the understanding or the drive for the understanding of of how people tick um is the ultimate of of what uh, within chiropractic we've called adio, you know, bum down inside out. Um, recognizing that there's there is this incredible power within us that um, we are here to explore, and mm. you know we we probably spent the first few years of our life forgetting our essence, um, and you know we get enculturalized into a less than state, and then for some of us we we then start to say, well that's very nice, Helena. I'm curious about where I came from. And I'm also curious about where I go. And so, you know, where from, from my source and, um, if you like my maker and, uh, where I go to and what this, what this life's all about, does this life have meaning? Well, it doesn't have meaning inherently, but we can bring it. Hmm. So meaning we bring to our life then, um, is the enlivening process and, and, um, or not, you know, it's, it's either way, (laughs) you know, so we can uh, we can have this process that we that we uh, ride up and down, which you know none of us have. Um, yeah, you know, we have a physical body, we have a physical world, so we're not we're not. Um, um, but, you know, we're playing this physical life, of playing this yes. physical, um, and, and that's not necessarily how things are. So I think that is a hugely curious situation for me. Um, is there isn't a way how we can play at different levels. And, you know, look at a little child. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll switch from being happy to being tired, to being angry, to being frustrated, um, back to happy again, um, all within 10 minutes, you know? So, so we have this flexibility and this pliability. I think this is one of the essential ingredients then to being, uh, to being curious is, uh, to be able to look at something from different perspectives and see the, the magnificence, magnificence of it, uh, the usefulness of it, the maybe lack of use of it in certain perspectives and so forth. So we, our investigation of science is, is driven by that, you know, yep. pure, pure science, you know, we, we, we want to find out as a human being, we're, we're drawn to that. Um, and I think that's an essential process. I think that's actually ascending into, um, a, a different level than we take on as being physical beings in a physical world. 
you know, we, we actually start to, to um, ask better questions and that then opens up uh, better, better problems, you know, better challenges. And, and so the world goes around. And, so. and, and that's perfect because that's exactly what I wanted to get to next is is these are these are powerful concepts. These are these are deep, and I think that everybody listening can hear how and and has probably experienced in their lives how taking on this perspective of curiosity of being on a journey because it's what we ask our practice members to do in our practices all the time. Is you, you're not here for a one hit wonder. We're here to help you on a journey towards your fulfillment, and the journey that that got you here will decide how long your chiropractic journey it is, and how intense it is, and what the frequency is, and and, and all of that. So. We're asking them to go on a journey. And I, I, I was thinking that right now it'd be really useful if we could give some of our listeners some really practical advice. And what you've just said there was, was leading into that of uh, one of the things that I've, I've learned from you over time is in the first phase of care, it's really important to try and help somebody to shift their frame of, of how they view their symptoms and how they view their body from one of fear and concern towards curiosity. And us being intensely curious about it helps them to be curious about it and, and then drives their journey towards finding their own answers behind the meaning. Like you just spoke about, we, we're always trying to ascribe meaning to things. Um, what are some other really practical ways this comes into our practice life, this, this concept of questing, of the journey, and of curiosity? Well, I think you know, probably the, the thing that, that detracts most from it um, <clears throat> and tends to bring bring in that element of certainty is labels. Uh, so, you know, if we label something as good or bad, um, if we label something as a, a normalization, in other words, you take a physiological process, which is, um, it's the body doing something, what's the body, soul, energy, feel, whatever, but it's doing something. It's in motion. Yeah, everything's in motion. Every single thing, even the thickest bit of, 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 um, Mineral is in motion. Every rock's in motion. Uh, yeah, financial. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, so it's like making sure that we have this uh, awareness that everything is, if you like, a verb is doing. Hmm. Right. We are doing life. Um, a rock is doing a rock. Uh, you know, a glass does a glass, and, and so forth. So, um, but that's as a split second in time, or a, a fraction of a second in time, you're going to see that. Well, it doesn't seem to be in motion here, but over time, we realize that, well, everything's in motion. Now, with our body mm. uh, and our, our physiology, uh, we have this phenomena of um, uh, of dynamics of, of movement, you know, neuroplasticity and myoplasticity and osteoplasticity. So, so, so those phenomena then, if they're seen as um, just that, that, that something that's sort of we're moving through, it's like a river, you know, a river is not a static thing. It's, it's flowing and we can't put our foot in the river twice, the same river twice. You know, you put your foot in the river and then take it out and put it in again. Well, it's a different river because it's flowing beyond where you were, you know? So, so I think, you know, if we, if we can have that, that awareness with our practice members, that they become the observer of their body, they become the observer of their, of their, their thinking and of their, their psyche and consciousness then that, that changes the dynamics. It changes the conversation for them because it takes them away from certainty. You see, you, you listen to a person you know, uh, who has something, you know, oh, I have a cold or I have cancer or I have, you know, run and nice, whatever it happens to be, there's, a, there's an ownership there. That ownership then um, creates a solid state. You know, I am my disease. And I am, you know, this particular state. So that identity that we put onto things um, is limiting. And that is, you know, that is where we do have the certainty. I'm certain that this is, that I am sick because I've got blah, 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 you know, um, as compared with well, what I'm noticing is, is my body is doing, et cetera. And uh, that this is uh, giving me sensations of, of maybe pain or maybe drippiness or maybe, you know, um, dizziness, whatever, whatever it happens to be, but it's a phenomena that we start to get towards observing. And then the accompanying them with that, that lack of labeling or that, that sort of that dynamic of, of a, an integrated view of this, um, we can then say, well, this too shall pass, you know, because, you know, we, if we have a label, the label's a label and, you know, I mean, 
kids grow up their whole life thinking, well, I'm dumb because I was told by a teacher once I was dumb yeah. or, or whatever. So, you know, if, if it was, um, that teacher had some vision around, well, uh, you are going through a, a period right now where you're doing confusion and that's a really powerful state for a, a highly intellectual, very, very skilled, aware person. That means that you're going to be experiencing amazing stuff in your life. That's a whole different frame that that child would take um, forward with them. So, you know, if we can do that for our practice members, we can be there for our practice members to, to take away the labels and to see them and to allow themselves to see themselves as a process of becoming, then that then digs into the curiosity. It digs into, wow, isn't that fascinating that this is happening or that's happening and, and allows them to then see the world in a, in a, in a way of possibilities, uh, a, a, an area of growth for them rather than limitations. So, so I think, you know, fundamentally just, you know, if we were to say just a couple of things there, um, you know, look at, look at the, look at the, the uh, labels as being constrict restrictive and, uh, free people up by giving them the power to, uh, self-observe and reflect. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And, and, and for the, the chiropractors that are listening, this is, this is. I can't tell you how practical this is and how, how applicable it is to all parts of practice, whether it's something you haven't done right and you're berating yourself, or well, that's a label. How about going, oh, wow, I did that thing again where I didn't do this or I forgot to do that or I did this too much, or even in your technique of, oh, my hand was in the wrong place. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I'm really curious about how that goes next time. Or if something happens at the front desk where a procedure didn't go the way you wanted to or somebody didn't get the love and care and attention that, we, that your practice would aspire to, you go to your front desk team in curiosity instead of judgment and suddenly their genius is allowed to open up and they'll own up to, well, this didn't go the way we needed and here's a system that needs to change. And all of the things that you think would be your work to do, they, they will do, they will take on in that space of curiosity once they feel, once they feel the trust and they feel the, the nurture and the safety of that space. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, Mark, this has been an amazing, and this is just a bite-sized chunk of what we're going to get into in the, the questing chiropractor. Mark's going to be our guest again. We're going to have some of the other, the, the pilots within Quest, the other coaches within Quest come and join us in future episodes. Mark, what kind of things would you like to explore in a future episode? What do you think would be really useful for our listeners to, to, to focus on in a future episode? Oh, wow. Yeah, and I'm putting you on the spot on this one. I really want the juice to flow right here. So it's just you and me. <laughs> um, look, there, I mean, basically, if you can think of anything in life from, from thoughts to, to, to money, to uh, systems, to processes, to hiring, to firing, to, I mean, you know, there is a viewpoint that one could take and, and, everything in life. And as I said, you know, nothing's missing. And sometimes we have a lopsided perception. John D. Martini speaks very strongly to this one in terms of the, you know, if we're only seeing one side of a the story, then, um, there is another side of it. And I think that's, that's a useful, uh, position to take relative to these, um, interviews because you know, if we can tie things together, we can integrate the left and the right brain, the four and the home brain and, and bring, bring perception, um, bring wisdom to perception or just allow perception to, 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 um, to bring the wisdom out, you know, it's there already. Um, I think that would be a great contribution. So really it's, it's so general, you know, you just name a topic and, uh, we can speak to it. So I would suggest, um, you know, put it out to the, to the listeners. Yes. To, to, um, you know, put it in the, in the, in the notes there. What, what topic would you like to have covered? What, you know, just one word and, um, we'll play with it and I guarantee it's going to be a valuable. So whether you're listening to this on one of your favorite podcasting platforms, whether you're watching this on YouTube or another video platform, wherever you are, get hold of us, drop us a comment and let us know what you would like us to discuss and we will build it in. We will be talking in future episodes and we'll build into all parts of your practice life because we believe that you are allowed to do what makes your heart sing. You are allowed to structure your flow so that you can, you can experience flow in practice and in life every day. You, you do change the world with every single time that you come into contact with someone. 
And you can make a profit doing all of that at the same time and enjoy the wealth that you bring into the world and the value you bring in. If you'd like to join us in the Quest Chiropractic Community, it's a Facebook group, it's a free Facebook group where we will give you tactical, practical things that you can implement into your practice. There are free video trainings, there's downloadable PDFs, we invite you to um, some of the events that we hold. But please come and join us in the group. We'll put the link wherever you find this podcast. And so you will be able to join us to get very tactical, very practical ways of applying this to your practice. And please um, subscribe to this podcast so that you can join the next episode where we're going to be exploring all these different parts of your practice life. And we're looking forward to this. This is a quest. We're going on this quest. This is episode one. I'm so keen to see where this ends up in this quest. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mark. And, uh, and we'll see you in the next time. Welcome.